back to my kitchen. I am Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. As always, I start off by giving thanks. I truly believe you need to be thankful for even the smallest things in life because it's very important that you are gracious. I am thankful for the subscribers. I am thankful for the people who come in and out of here. So let's get right down to it now though. So what are we going to do? I'm going to make a Christmas meal for six. I used mostly dollar store uh, items. I had to step out a little bit, but mostly dollar store items. I want to show you how you could do it if all you can get to is the dollar store. Uh, however, I did charge myself for dollar store things that are not dollar store because I already had them. I don't want to buy it double. So I will be saying they're dollar store. And if you clearly know it's not, it isn't. But I want to show you what you can do from the dollar store mostly. So let's get right to it. We have a full day of cooking ahead of us because we're having Christmas today. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. If you would like to recreate this using only Dollar Tree, you will need $13.75. Here's what I bought. Macaroni and cheese. I bought the family size. I don't know if they all have them, but they did at mine. Stuffing, graham cracker crust, eggs, frozen green beans, cream of chicken soup, cranberry sauce, hash browns, a block of cheddar cheese, a block of cream cheese, Cool Whip, three packs of Bar S Ham. And the fruit you see on the end is what I bought as a side to show you how to level up the dessert. First thing I did was I took out six eggs and I put them in a pot of cold water, turned it on, brought it to a boil, and then covered it up and let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm now going to run them under some cold water and peel them. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned that I am using household items in this challenge. Uh, nothing crazy, like a block of cheese, because that's a staple, but mayonnaise, mustard, salt, pepper, seasoning, maybe a fat or something like that. Nothing crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these in half. I'm going to, I started doing one already. I'm going to put the, the egg in here. Uh, when I'm done with that, I'm going to use a little bit of Dukes, a little bit of yellow mustard, salt and pepper, and some paprika. So let me start cutting these up. Okay. So I'm just going to add some mayonnaise. Duke's mayonnaise, splash of mustard. If you had Miracle Whip, which I don't, as this is the only thing I use Miracle Whip for, put some Miracle Whip in there. It gives it that something in the background. Like people are like, what is that taste? And I don't like Miracle Whip, but in egg salad, I like it. And we're just gonna give that a good old mix and add more as I go. Needs a little bit more mayonnaise and some pepper. Here we go. That's going to be it. Let me just give this a quick mixing. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spoon these into the eggs. I'm sure everybody knows how to make deviled eggs. But let's just go for it. Now I go a little stingy when I first start off just to make sure I have enough to get all the way around and then I'll go back and I'll, if I have enough, I add more. If I don't, I don't. Okay, let me rinse my hands off real quick. Okay, and then we're going to give a little bit of paprika on top. Those are going to go in the refrigerator until we're ready. 
for the dessert, we're making a kind of cheesecake kind of dessert, but we're going to be building them up in layers in a cup. So you're going to get a block of cream cheese, some vanilla, a splash of lemon, and some sugar. I'm using powdered sugar. You could use regular sugar if you like. Okay, so I let the um, cream cheese sit out. It's not been out long enough. It's only been sitting out about a half an hour. Um, so we'll just use some help with the mixer to get it to soften up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smash it down with my fork a little bit. And then I'm going to hit it with the handy dandy mixer. So it mixes it down. Because it's still kind of hard. So if I do this, it'll uh, help things along a little bit. Okay, let me mix that up and get it creamy. Okay. I'm gonna scrape the sides down. We'll get it off that mixer in a second. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Food. I'm going to go with two tablespoons. And I'm going to give that another mix. I'm going to add a third tablespoon. Yeah, you want it, you want to make it a, a good amount. Let's give that another mix. Then we're going to add some vanilla. You can add up to two tablespoons. I'm going to start with one. Half full of the uh, lemon juice. Just a little something in there. Just a cap full. Got to give that a mix. Okay. That looks good. The next step, we're going to fold in some whipped topping. All right, so we're just going to take the whipped topping and we're not going to mix it. We want to fold it in. Just going to fold it in until it's mixed in. All right, so I'm going to put that in the refrigerator and let that set up. All right, so now I'm going to start on the hash browns. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those, but first we have to reconstitute them. So to make these, you just open the box up until about where the folds go right there. You fill it up with really good hot uh, tap water or boiling water. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, I had exactly what I needed. Pretty good. All right, so I'm going to push this back and just let it do its thing while we move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the uh, ham. They didn't have the honey ham, so I'm going to have to do with what I have. But I'll sweeten it up. So I have these two glasses here. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use. They're both about the same opening, except for this one's kind of like more like a octagon shape, and this is round. I think I'm going to start with the round one. All right, you might be able to see better. I had to readjust. I think I'm going to go with the round one. Let's see how the first one turns out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about six slices. I think that might be what is in each side. Maybe one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's six slices in each one of these little folded uh, things. And I, and I have six people, and I have six slices. Of those so we're doing great so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your your ham and you're gonna stick it just like that down inside there I'm going to make roses out of this ham so if it can't be big and beautiful we're gonna make it look like something so we're just gonna go around and when I flip this over it should make like a rosebud if I'm doing it right. We'll see. I 
Let's hope it comes out right. Rob, all this was for nothing. Okay. Now let me get the pan that I'm going to put this out on and we're going to see if we got a rose. Okay, so I got my little foil pan. Now we're going to take this and we're just going to dump it over and hope that we made a nice pretty rose. Okay, are we ready to see if we did it or not? Can you see? I moved you down so you could see it come out. Let's hope. Ready? Woo! It worked! It worked! Look at that! Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. I'm proud of that. Well, now I gotta make six more. Okay, that's the last one. Oh, I hope they hold their shape. Okay, just wanted to fix this one to see if it can make it come out better. Boom! Check that out. All right, let me put those to the so side. I'm just going to take the frozen green beans. Now, I know some people say canned green beans are better, but this had more in it. Okay, to this, I'm going to add a heaping teaspoon of uh, bouillon. And we're just going to let that simmer on the stove for a little bit. Okay, so I put this on top of that just so that you could see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the green beans that I've been cooking just in this pot with a lid that's too big. Remember, I cooked it in just some chicken broth or chicken bouillon. And I'm just going to scoop it out of here. and add it to this dish. So to this, I'm gonna add some cream of soup. Now, if you wanna know how I make uh, cream of mushroom soup, I'll link it uh, at the end of the video because I show you a video on how to make cream of anything. No matter what it is, you could do that. Oh, I forgot to add a little bit of butter. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter and I'm gonna add some of the broth that I cook the green beans in. Now you could add whatever seasoning you want. Just going to add some garlic to taste. I'm going to cook this in the oven just like this. And if you have uh, any those onion things, those onion crisps, you could uh, throw those on top here. Matter of fact, let me look in my pantry, see if I have an open pack. Okay, I have these left over from uh, Thanksgiving. I'm just throwing a little bit on just, just for the pretty pretty. Because I would I would have ate it just plain. Okay, there you go. So I shaved up about an eighth of that little block. And I'm going to cut them down with this because I want them just a little bit smaller than when they came out on that thing. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it. Once I spray it, I'm going to take a little bit of oil and rub it in the bottom because I do not want my potatoes to stick. So let me do that. Okay, set that to the side. That's really reconstituted, I'll tell you what. That's heavy. Oh, my bowl is big enough. I'm gonna add a sprinkle our cheese around in there. Now you could add whatever you want to these. This is what I'm doing. Then you're going to add some cream of soup to it. This is three-fourths of a cup. Put that cream of in there. You salt, pepper. I'm not going to add the salt uh, yet because I have the cheddar cheese in there. I have the cream of soup in there. I'm going to add a little pepper, a little garlic. If I can find my pepper. 
I like a little garlic in mine. A little bit of pepper in there. Okay. So we're just going to take this in nice little plops and put it in this pan. I'm actually going to use a third cup scoop. See how that works out for me. Oh darn, I forgot about Eric. All right, oops, I'll just make a little more. And pretend that I didn't do it, I guess, I don't know. I forgot Eric can't have cheese. So I have another box, I'll whip up some for him. I can't leave the kid out. I usually take his out before I go adding cheese to anything and apparently I forgot. That's all right. I'll whip up a batch for him real quick. So that's going to, I'm going to clean up the edges, but that's going in the oven like that. Okay. I'm going to make the stuffing just like it says to do in the box. The only thing I'm doing differently is I added a pinch of bouillon down in there. That's it. And then the macaroni and cheese. I'm going to cook that as it says on the box until we get to the end and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so what I did was in this cup, I put a little bit of um, pancake syrup, a pinch of sugar, and a tiny bit of uh, pineapple juice that I had left over. Say there was a little bag of pineapples, and when I say a tiny bit, it was probably maybe a tablespoon or two. And we're just gonna drizzle this down over top of our florets, I guess we're calling these. Trying not to put on too heavy. I don't want them to fall apart. I'm hoping they're going to hold their shape. All right. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Now this ham is already cooked. So we really just want to brown it up or something like that. We don't need to go in there forever. Okay. I added the powdered uh, cheese, a little bit of butter, and I'm adding some milk. And I gotta give that a mix. Now what I do to give this a baked macaroni and cheese feel is that I took the uh, cheddar cheese that I had Hold on. Okay, and what I do with that is I take the, the macaroni and cheese I pour some at the bottom. It's all right that it's still milky like that. It'll thick it up. I kind of wanted it like that. Where's my little bit of cheese I left? I took what was left of that block of cheese, and I'm just gonna layer some in here so that when you when you get your macaroni and cheese, it's not just like boxed. It has a little bit of something. If I had more cheese, I would add more cheese, but I don't. So we're going to go with what I have. And then we're just going to throw this in the oven and let that cheese melt. And as soon as it's melted, it's time to eat. Gives it just a little bit of something extra than just regular old baked macaroni and cheese. So let me throw this in the oven and get the other stuff out. I forgot, I like to sprinkle a little paprika on top. That's just for the pretty pretty, nothing else. Gives it a little bit of color. All right, in she goes. And look at that, they kept their shape. I can't believe it. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Look how pretty they turned out. Before I bring this to the table, I'm going to put it under the broiler and hit it on top to get some of these little ends crisped up. Okay, here's dinner. We have our hash browns. And then we have Eric's hash browns back there that I almost forgot to make. 
We have some stuffing. We have the baked macaroni and cheese. We have our appetizer back there, which would be the deviled eggs. Our green bean casserole. Our cranberry sauce. So there it goes without the foil around it. They do hold up well. I didn't think they were going to, but they did. So I guess I'm going to meet you at the table. Eric's right here waiting. All righty. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get to tasting. Okay, so we're back to making the dessert. Remember this from this morning. I'm going to crumble that into this pan. These bowls. So this is the strawberry kind. Plop. Plop. Okay, so now we're going to do one more layer and we're going to be done. Okay, one more. We just got a little bit of crumbs left in there. So we're just gonna do the pretty, pretty stuff. And there you have our dessert. Eric's is the one that's standing proud in the center. So we know which one is his and uh, the rest is ours. So let's get to tasting. We're at the table. We can't wait to dig in this. I'm hot and sweaty from cooking all day. Let's get it started. What do you want to start with? Deviled egg? Yeah. Go ahead. I thought you was going to go for the ham. The flour. Good, right? Yeah. Let's try the ham. Or cut it. That's what I'm doing. It's thin enough that it was lunch meat. The hell? Oh my gosh, shredded. The Down the hatch. Mmm. I wasn't expecting it to be good, but it's actually really good. <laughs> you was expecting it to be awful? What? That's all right. Try that potato thing. Mm-hmm. That's like a hash brown with, uh, you like that? It's cream of chicken soup. Oh, I spit on you. It's cream of chicken, do it again. Cream of chicken soup and cheese and hash browns. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Green, green beans. I love green beans. Mmm, and they're mushy like you like. What do I have that you don't? Macaroni and cheese. I guess I'll just eat some stuff. Yeah, that's just regular box stuffing, nothing special. And this has got a hunk of cheddar right on top. Mmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a winner.
Winner, winner, Christmas dinner. <laughs> All right, well, let me get the rest of them fed, and I'll see you at dessert. We didn't even have dessert yet in all of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll see you in a little while. It's dessert time! Woo-woo! So, Eric has never had this kind of a thing before. We had those mini cheesecakes I made once for you. All right, I'm going to get a scoop of everything all the way down. Me too. I'm so full I can barely eat. You ready? Oh, I hope I can keep it down. Oh, mmm. Mmm. You know what that tastes like? What? Strawberry shortcake. Really? Yeah. You mean really? You've had strawberry shortcake before. I have. Those little round cakes I get. Oh, yeah. I'm Dutch. How do you like that whipped cream? I made it with my own two little hands. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna take one more bite, but whew, I probably even shouldn't. Let's see what one more taste. Oh, mm, yeah. Okay. Well, I already did your wrap up, so this is the wrap up of the wrap up. Absolutely what? Delicious. Delicious. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.